How's it going, everyone? I'm Aaron Nick, and welcome to Evil Land. Okay, so I've actually played this game before. I played it all the way through the first time, um, like two or three years ago. So it's been a couple of years. But the reason I'm playing through this is because um, I just got the second game because it's been on my wish list forever, and I just kind of. Um, I saw that it was on sale, and so I'm just like, oh, I gotta jump on that, because it was like 50% off. So, I'm going to play through the first one, and the reason that this game is really enjoyable to me is because, um, it, as the name kind of describes, it's the evolution of games, and it's actually the evolution of, like, most RPGs, so it's got that really cool, like, classic feel to a lot of games. So you get a little bit of Zelda, you get a little bit of uh, Final Fantasy, you get a little bit of Diablo, if I, I think is one of the parts. So I'm going to hop right in, and you got to like unlock everything. Yeah, you can see right at the bottom, you got the right key. So I can't move left, I can't move, I can only move right. <laughs> you got the left key. Always going right is boring, so I can go right and left. So the whole game is just, you slowly unlock everything so now I have 2d movement and as you can see the graphics aren't that great but the graphics get better basic scrolling you want to see where you're heading right so now I can move to different areas and then I'll, I'll eventually get a sword and then I can start fighting okay so now there's sound effects the game is much more al alive this way so I'm what I plan to do is this video is probably going to be a little bit longer because I plan on um playing all the way through this in one sitting. So that was uh now the I'm always in the center of the camera, the camera moves with me. Oh, I can't get to that one. I need to go around. Yeah, sword. Now you can kill the evil monsters, cut down bushes. So, if you couldn't tell, this is a lot like Zelda right now. Bushes. You got monsters. Careful not to touch them. I think there's something over here I could get. Oh, no, I have to go all the way around. Okay, I just remembered seeing the chest. Yeah, so I plan on trying to do this whole game and... Ooh. That was like a weird, like, uh, Like, oh, uh, I died. Music. Now I got that nice adventures music. Save points. Yep, so now I got save. Your save. <laughs> oh, I can go this way. Okay. Anything up here? Ooh, bush. Okay. Yeah, star. Oh yeah, there's stars hidden throughout the game. And you get like an extra secret. You get the bat card. Double twin. Oh yeah, they also put a card game in, and that comes into account later on in the game. Not much later. The, ga the game's honestly really short. That's why I plan on trying to do it in one sitting. There we go, so now it's 16 color display, so it's much better looking. I'm in my green, so you can tell that I'm not a Link ripoff. Yeah, I just... Honestly, I just really enjoy this game. Like, I... The fact that it just, like, kind of makes a play on, like, the evolution of games. Oh, I think I need to get something to push that. You know, just the, like, it just slowly upgrades so you go from, like, you know, a game you'd play on the NES or something, or Game Boy that's in, like, black and white, and then it eventually becomes more. There we go. I got the title screen. After centuries of peace, an ancient evil has finally surfaced and threatened the world of Evelandia. You are the one of the few remaining members of the Order of the Dragon Knights whose purpose is to travel the world to help the needy and fight evil. These centuries of peace nearly mean that you haven't a whole lot of recently, but it looks like business is picking up again. You got storyline. Hey, now it looks better. See, so it slowly gets better, and, um... I might have to go back and pick up some earlier chests. 
Get sign panels. Luckily, senior hero know how to read these signs. The path is reserved for agile adventures. And then it starts getting into like more, more of the 3D graphics and let's see. You got free movement. Time for some. Oh yeah, I can now. I can move at angles. We need to push a rock. Locked by the dimensional stone. Try the path to the east. Yeah, so I, I anticipate to kind of just fly through this game, because I... As I say that, I die. Okay, so... One hit and I'm dead. Can I skip through this? Yeah, I can speed it up. Yeah, so... There we go. Business is picking up again. So, I forgot that I die in one hit. Another star. I forgot how many stars there were. I remember getting most of them the first time. I didn't do everything on my first playthrough. That guy's right next to me. Die. Now I'm nervous. Because I know they killed me in one hit. Alright. Let's see. Free movement. So now I have to head back. Because I'm pretty sure there's something that gives me hearts. So at, at, at some point I'm able to... I'm going to save right away. You're safe. You're safe. Thank you. I like being safe. Let's see. got to find something that allows me to move those blocks. Now I'm missing and just like playing really stupidly because you know they can kill me in one hit so I'm like really nervous because these these aren't Octoroks don't worry So that's where I got the sword originally. I'm backtracking like way too far, I think. Okay, no, here's the here's the bushes. Okay. The star. Yeah, a lot of stuff comes into play like later on. Okay, so that's how I get that one, which I probably could have got like a while ago. Got an Octorog card. I didn't even actually read it. I just said Octorog, but I don't know if it was like Octorock or something, or they just changed the name. They probably did. Now I gotta find the spot I didn't go yet. Okay, yeah, can't move it yet. Look at me, I, I wanted to do this all in one go, but now I'm facing these troubles. It has been a while. Can't believe I missed that. Okay. Inventory. Okay, so I can use tab. Fight. I imagine I have to beat them. Come on. Alright. Do I have to be somewhere? Never get two guys going at one. Wow. Okay, that's on uh, Yeah, okay, so killing all monsters will sometimes help you in your quest. Okay, so now I can... Overworld! 
Hey! Yeah, so now I get like the overworld and I can turn based battles and like, different, different fights now. So now I have like Final Fantasy fighting. So I was fighting like it was like Zelda and now I'm fighting in a Final Fantasy setting. And I get money. I think there are only like one or two types of enemies though when I'm traveling like this. Mode 7, really gorgeous when you introduce Pac in 1990. Oh, Emook! Some sort of bird. There we go, alright. Place names, so now I'm in the meadow. Yep, back into like the Zelda style, but okay, guys, I think it's safe. Die. Die. I really want to go back and play like the original Zelda. That would be a lot of fun. I think I might do that. Get a good playthrough of like the original Zelda, because I did I remember playing through it like as a kid, but I don't think I ever beat it. I think I got to like the last dungeon. Okay, so you got village. Villages always have such annoying music. That's not true. Some villages and games have like the best music. Oh, here we go. NPCs. Sorry, do not speak to children. He is like giant. He is like Twice, twice my size. Oh, can't go into houses. Okay. Stop boring me, go play with other children. So do I have to get something to like, grow up? Can't remember. So as you can see, this is definitely already like a much different game than first started. If you're not a nice boy, the evil Kafka's ghost will come and eat you. Kafka, if you don't know, is uh, the villain of Final Fantasy VI, which actually just launched on Steam pretty recently. And they're relaunching all the Final Fantasies on Steam, it seems like, which is good and it's bad. Okay, so now I can invade people's privacy by entering houses. I don't know, to me it's a good and it's a bad thing, because while I enjoy them, I feel like it's kind of making me, like, want to uh, go back and play all of them, even though I I played through them all, like, fairly recently, like, all within the last couple of years, so, tired, say, yeah, okay, so I can heal, thank you, Ed. And also, there's also a, another big complaint about um, the Final Fantasy VI on Steam, and that's um, the look of it, which I I can see why it's an issue for some people. Because people want the original look of the game, but they redid the textures, and the new textures just look, for the most part, god awful. They're like they're way too plain. Like so. Like, the characters here, they stand out, but what they did with the Final Fantasy VI on, the, on Steam and the remakes and stuff is, not really remakes, but they, they, um, they smoothed out the textures. Uh, I didn't read that, sorry, the National Sword Association did not let sell up to the children yet. Okay. I will come back to the adult. But they smoothed out the textures, and now it makes, like, a lot of the textures look, like, really bad. <laughs> Can't enter this house. Oh, I think it can go down that well. Yes, go down the well. Secret place. What the hell are you doing in this place? I was trying to see. Do you want to eat it? Yes. Now I'm an adult. We have grown taller. With all the kids in video games, anyways, that was all. That was something that like they always used to do back in the 
in the 90s. It was all kids. Got a worm card. It was all kids, um, when you were playing games before. I mean, like, Mario wasn't a kid, but, like, Zelda was a kid. Or, not, not Zelda, Link. Link was a kid. I, I'm sorry, I skipped over that. Link was a kid as, uh, as you're playing through. Okay, torque card. Find a potion. Slowly go through. Okay, so now I can do things as an adult. So they might let me look through. Only last Okay, so I need to get better equipment, so I need to go to the shop. Let's see, back here. Well, actually, talk to me. Please enjoy your stay with us. But yeah, Link was always like a kid, and. Uh, hi! Uh. Can I equip? Oh, not that. I meant tab. Okay. Okay, alright, so in the corner it tells me how many stars I have. So I have 3 of 30, so there's 30 secrets, and there's 23 cards. I'm not looking to complete everything. I'm, I'm just doing a, like, quick rush through, run through, like, just to refresh myself with the game. Like, it's not really a game you have to refresh yourself with, but it looks like I need more money, so I'm probably gonna have to grind. Grinding. Classics of games. Yeah. Alright. I'll use this time to like search for any secrets though. Cause I'm sure the secret stars are like over here. Okay. Alright, so I attack like my attack's much, much stronger. And I I just need to get armor and then I'll be good to go. I don't think I got the fight. Especially since they give me like 50. Yep, everything dies on my head. 50. I need 150, I believe, and I already had a little bit, so. Should already be there. Die, slime! Die! It's like, no, don't hit me. Don't hit me, I'm just a gentle slime. I'm just like, die, slime. Get rid of your kind. One thing I just noticed about this game, there really isn't any, like, there's no delay. Okay. Equipped ready for a truck monster. Do I have more money? Okay. I am ready to fight others. Um, I just noticed my mouse cursor is in the screen. It's probably been just sitting there this whole time. Alright. Ready to fight more. Barrels are out of the way. Alright. Time to go into the cave. If I remember right, the cave is kind of like later, like Zelda games. Like, I, I think I get like. Alright, so I'm just calling for help. Oh! Yep, so now I get like my companion. Hey! Don't you do that to me? Get those freaking flowers off your head, you scaven! the jams though. Okay. Thank you for saving me from those monsters. I need the crystal in the cave to save my home town. Will you help me? You got four shorts. Looks like the same area is like proper branch in here. Eris. It's Eris with a K. Of course it is. Um, I don't think I can really level up right now. I think levels come later on, so I think right now it's just like... Oh. Hidden Meadow. I knew there was a secret over here. Tricks where you found the hidden cave. Okay, what can Karis do? Can she heal? Yeah. Okay. Eris 
is uh, Final Fantasy 7. So this game does draw a lot on like Final Fantasy, which fairly enough made JRPGs popular in the West. So I mean, it's kind of fair that they use a lot of those references. But at the same time, like, I mean, there are there are a lot of other good RPGs that aren't Final Fantasy or aren't developed by Square Enix. Well, I mean, look at Legend of Dragoon. That game, that game was fantastic. That's another game I want to go back and play. That's a game like I wish I wish they would re-release re on Steam or re-release on. Like, Newer consoles, I'd go back and play an HD version of that. You know, when they when they make a game HD and stuff now, it's like it it can be good, like it can be really good, but at the same time, it's they could completely like ruin it by adding too much. Like most of the time, when I see an HD remake of a game, I'm I just want the same game. Like it's usually for the experience of like going back and playing it or Invasion of the Undead it's an Amazon bestseller when I go back and oh, what's my health like okay I still have good, my health when I go back and play a game like that it's usually because one or two reasons either I didn't play the game the first time around and I'd like to go back and experience it or um or it's like the nostalgia reason like I want it like it's been en enough time has passed and I want to go back and play a game like I I truly like going back and playing games a couple years later I mean look at this game I don't remember everything that's like happened in this but it's it's just fun going back and seeing what you do remember seeing what you don't remember certain games will always be fun <coughs> Is there anything else in the meadow, or is it just in the cave? That looks like. Got a slime card! Um. Uh, no, there's plenty of games that they like. They, they made HD and stuff, and. re released, and I went back and played them. Okay. We need to find. We need to find the crystal. Its power can change your perception of the world, and with it, you can fight the evil that threatens my village. By the way, I just noticed that I forgot to ask your name. My name is Clink, which is Link with a C. You got a name. Thank you. I always like getting names. How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Nick and welcome to Evil Land. Okay, so I've actually played this game before. I played it all the way through the first time, um, like two or three years ago. So it's been a couple of years. But the reason I'm playing through this is because um, I just got the second game because it's been on my wish list forever and I just kind of, um, I saw that it was on sale and so I'm just like, oh, I got to jump on that because it was like 50% off. So, I'm going to play through the first one, and the reason that this game is really enjoyable to me is because, um, it, as the name kind of describes, it's the evolution of games, and it's actually the evolution of, like, most RPGs, so it's got that really cool, like, classic feel to a lot of games. So, you get a little bit of Zelda, you get a little bit of, uh, Final Fantasy, you get a little bit of Diablo, if I... I think is one of the parts so I'm gonna hop right in and you gotta like unlock everything yeah you can see right at the bottom you get the right key so I can't move left I can't move I can only move right <laughs> you got the left key always going right is boring so I can go right and left so the whole game is just you slowly unlock everything so now I have 2d movement 
and as you can see the graphics aren't that great but the graphics get better basic scrolling you want to see where you're heading right so now I can move to different areas and then I'll, I'll eventually get a sword and then I can start fighting okay so now there's sound effects the game is much more al alive this way so I'm what I plan to do is this video is probably going to be a little bit longer because I plan on um, playing all the way through this in one sitting. So that was uh, now that I'm always in the center of the camera, the camera moves with me. Oh, I can't get to that one. I need to go around. Yes, sword. Now you can kill the evil monsters. Cut down bushes. So, if you couldn't tell, this is a lot like Zelda right now. Bushes. You got monsters. Careful not to touch them. I think there's something over here I could get. Oh, no, I have to go all the way around. Okay, I just remembered seeing the chest. Yeah, so I plan on trying to do this whole game and... Ooh. That was like a weird, like, uh, Like, oh, uh, I died. Music. Now I got that nice adventures music. Save points. Yep, so now I got save. Your save. <laughs> oh, I can go this way. Okay. Anything up here? Ooh, bush. Okay. Yeah, star. Oh yeah, there's stars hidden throughout the game. And you get like an extra secret. You get the bat card. Double twin. Oh yeah, they also put a card game in, and that comes into account later on in the game. Not much later. The, ga the game's honestly really short. That's why I plan on trying to do it in one sitting. There we go, so now it's 16 color display, so it's much better looking. I'm in my green, so you can tell that I'm not a Link ripoff. Yeah, I just... Honestly, I just really enjoy this game. Like, I... The fact that it just, like, kind of makes a play on, like, the evolution of games. Oh, I think I need to get something to push that. You know, just the, like, it just slowly upgrades so you go from, like, you know, a game you'd play on the NES or something, or Game Boy that's in, like, black and white, and then it eventually becomes more. There we go. I got the title screen. After centuries of peace, an ancient evil has finally surfaced and threatened the world of Evelandia. You are the one of the few remaining members of the Order of the Dragon Knights whose purpose is to travel the world to help the needy and fight evil. These centuries of peace nearly mean that you haven't a whole lot of recently, but it looks like business is picking up again. You got storyline. Hey, now it looks better. See, so it slowly gets better, and, um... I might have to go back and pick up some earlier chests. You got sign panels. Luckily, a senior hero would know how to read these signs. The path is reserved for agile adventures. And then it starts getting into, like, more, more of the 3D graphics, and... Let's see. You got free movement. Time for some... Oh, yeah, I can now I can move at angles. We need to push a rock. Luck by the dimensional stone, try the path to the east. Yeah, so I, I anticipate to kind of just fly through this game. Because I... As I say that, I die. Okay, so... One hit and I'm dead. I skip through this? Yeah, I can speed it up. Yeah, so... There we go. Business is picking up again. So, I forgot that I die in one hit. Okay, there's another star. I forgot how many stars there were. I remember getting most of them the first time. I didn't do everything on my first playthrough. That guy's right next to me. Die. Now I'm nervous, because I know they killed me in one hit. Alright. 
let's see. Can we move it? Okay, so now I have to head back. Because I'm pretty sure there's something that gives me hearts. So at, at, at some point I'm able to. I'm gonna save right away. You're safe. You're safe. Thank you. I like being safe. I gotta find something that allows me to move those blocks. And now I'm missing and just like playing really stupidly because you know they can kill me in one hit, so I'm like really nervous. Because these these aren't Octa Rocks, don't worry. So that's where I got the sword originally. I'm backtracking like way too far, I think. Okay, no, here's the here's the bushes. Okay. The star. Yeah, a lot of stuff comes into play like later on. Okay, so that's how I get that one, which I probably could have got like a while ago. Got an Octorog card. I didn't even actually read it, I just said Octorog, but I don't know if it was like Octorock or something, or they just changed the name. They probably did. Now I gotta find the spot I didn't go yet. Okay, yeah, can't move it yet. Look at me, I, I wanted to do this all in one go, but now I'm facing these troubles. It has been a while. Can't believe I missed that. Okay. Inventory. Okay, so I can use tab. Fight. I imagine I have to beat them. Come on. Alright. Do I have to Remember, never get two guys going at one. Wow. Okay, that's on uh, Yeah, okay, so killing all monsters will sometimes help you in your quest. Okay, so now I can... Overworld! Hey! Yeah, so now I get, like, the overworld and I can... Turn-based battles, I should put different fights down. So now I have, like, Final Fantasy fighting. So I was fighting like it was, like, Zelda, and now I'm fighting in a Final Fantasy setting. And I get money. Nice slime. I, th I think there are only, like, one or two types of enemies, though, when I'm traveling like this. Mode 7, really gorgeous when you introduce pac in 1990. Oh, Emook! Some sort of bird. There we go, alright. Place names, so now I'm in the meadow. Yeah, back into like the Zelda style, but okay, guys, I can save. Die, die! I really want to go back and play like the original Zelda. That would be a lot of fun. I think I might do that. Get a good playthrough of like the original Zelda, because I did. 
I remember playing through it, like, as a kid, but I don't think I ever beat it. I think I got to, like, the last dungeon. Okay, so you got village. Villages always have such annoying music. That's not true. Some villages and games have, like, the best music. Oh, here we go. NPCs. Sorry, do not speak to children. He is, like, giant. He is, like, twice, twice my size. Oh, can't go into houses. Okay. Is that boring? Me go play with other children. So do I have to get something to, like, grow up? Can't remember. So as you can see, this is definitely already, like, a much different game than first started. If you're not a nice boy, the evil Kafka's ghost will come and eat you. Kafka, if you don't know, is uh, the villain of Final Fantasy VI, which actually just launched on Steam pretty recently. And they're relaunching all the Final Fantasies on Steam, it seems like, which is good and it's bad. Okay, so now I can invade people's privacy by entering houses. I don't know, to me, it's a good and it's a bad thing because while I enjoy them, I feel like it's kind of making me, like, want to uh, go back and play all of them, even though I I played through them all, like, fairly recently, like, all within the last couple of years. So, tired, say, yeah, okay, so I can heal. Thank you, Ed. And also, there's also a, another big complaint about, um, the Final Fantasy VI on Steam, and that's, um, the look of it, which I, I can see why it's an issue for some people. It look, because people want the original look of the game, but they redid the textures, and the new textures just look, for the most part, god-awful. They're, like, they're way too plain, like, so... Like, the characters here, they stand out, but what they did with the Final Fantasy VI on, the, on Steam and the remakes and stuff is, not really remakes, but they, they, um, they smoothed out the textures. Uh, I didn't read that, sorry, the National Sword Association did not want to sell weapons to children yet. Okay. I will come back to the adult. But they smoothed out the textures, and now it makes, like, a lot of the textures look, like, really bad. <laughs> Can't enter this house. Oh, I think it can go down that well. Yes, go down the well. Secret place. What the hell are you doing in this place? I was trying to see. Do you want to eat it? Yes. Now I'm an adult. Yeah. Grown taller. With all the kids in video games, anyways, that was all. That was something that like they always used to do back in the in the 90s. It was all kids. Got a worm card. It was all kids. Um, when you were playing games before. I mean, like Mario wasn't a kid, but like Zelda was a kid. Or not, not Zelda. Link. Link was a kid, I, I'm sorry, I skipped over that. Link was a kid as, uh, as you're playing through. Okay, torque card. Found a potion. Slowly go through. Okay, so now I can do things as an adult, so they might let me look through. Only last Okay, so I need to get better equipment, so I need to go to the shop. Let's see, back here. Well, actually, talk to me. Please enjoy your stay with us. But yeah, Link was always like a kid, and. Uh, hi! Uh, can I equip? Oh, not that. I meant tab. Okay, alright, so in the corner it tells me how many stars I have. So I have 3 of 30, so there's 30 secrets. And
and there's 23 cards. I'm not looking to complete everything. I'm, I'm just doing a like, quick rush through, run through, like, just to refresh myself with the game. Like, it's not really a game you have to refresh yourself with, but it looks like I need more money, so I'm probably gonna have to grind. Grinding. Classics of games. Yeah. Alright. I'll use this time to like search for any secrets though. Cause I'm sure the secret stars are like over here. Alright, so I attack like my attack's much, much stronger. And I, I just need to get armor and then I'll be good to go. I don't think I got the fight. Especially since they give me like 50. Yep, everything dies on one hit. 50. I need 150, I believe, and I already had a little bit, so. Should already be there. Die, slime! Die! It's like, no, don't hit me. Don't hit me, I'm just a gentle slime. I'm just like, die, slime. Get rid of your kind. One thing I just noticed about this game, there really isn't any, like, there's no delay. Okay. Equipped ready for a truck monster. Do I have more money? Okay. I am ready to fight others. Um, I just noticed my mouse cursor is in the screen. It's probably been just sitting there this whole time. Alright. Ready to fight more. Girls are out of the way. Alright. I have to go into the cave. If I remember right, the cave is kind of like later, like Zelda games. Like, I, I think I get like. Alright, so we're just calling for help. Oh! Yep, so now I get like my companion. Hey! Don't you do that to me? Get those freaking flowers off your head, you scaven! For sure, it looks like the same area as like proper branch in here. Eris. It's Eris with a K. Of course it is. Um, I don't think I can really level up right now. I think levels come later on, so I think right now it's just like oh. It in meadow. I knew there was a secret over here. Where you found the hidden cave. Okay, what can Karis do? Can she heal? Yeah. Okay. Karis is, uh, Final Fantasy 7. So, this game does draw a lot on, like, Final Fantasy, which. Fairly enough made JRPGs popular in the West, so I mean it's kind of fair that they use a lot of those references. But at the same time, like I mean there are there are a lot of other good RPGs that aren't Final Fantasy or aren't developed by Square Enix. I mean, look at Legend of Dragoon. That game, that game was fantastic. That's another game I want to go back and play. That's a game like I wish, I wish they would re-release re on Steam or re-release on like, newer consoles. I'd go back and play an HD version of that. You know, when they when they make a game HD and stuff now, it's like. It can be good, like it can be really good, but at the same time, it's they could completely like ruin it by adding too much. Like most of the time, when I see an HD remake of a game, I'm, I just want the same game. Like it's usually for the experience of like going back and playing it. 
for Invasion of the Undead. Yes. An Amazon bestseller. When I go back and- oh, what's my health like? Okay, I still have a good, my health. When I go back and play a game like that, it's usually because one or two reasons. Either I didn't play the game the first time around and I'd like to go back and experience it, or, um, or it's like the nostalgia reason. Like, I want to, like, it's been en enough time has passed and I want to go back and play a game. Like, I, I truly like going back and playing games a couple years later. I mean, look at this game. I don't remember everything that's like happened in this, but it's it's just fun going back and seeing what you do remember, seeing what you don't remember. Certain games will always be fun. <coughs> right, the meadow. Is there anything else in the meadow, or is it just in the cave? That looks like. Got a slime card. Plenty of games that they like. They, they made HD and stuff and re released, and I went back and played them. Crystal cave. I need to find. We need to find the crystal. Its power can change your perception of the world, and with it, you can fight the evil that threatens my village. By the way, I just noticed that I forgot to ask your name. My name is Clink, which is Link with a C got a name. Thank you. I always like getting names. Alright, now let's see what's in this chest. You got cave monsters. Looks like the... So, I had to unlock the battles. That's interesting. Alright, we're just scaven. So it's still the same monsters as they were outside. I am interested in the fact that I can still attack like I've done. Cobra Zero. Now, if some of these monsters are based off of different things, I'm kind of losing the references. Like, I, I'm getting a lot of references. Um, Pork. It just looks like it, it, it's for Pokemon. Like, ob obviously slime is just a classic, um, from just games in general, I mean, but, but what's a Skaven from? There's a rodent with a flower on its head, like, what the, what the fuck is it supposed to be? I have no clue. Freaking Skaven. Don't you just get blink? I'm really not losing too much health. There really isn't a level system right now. I can't remember. I think there's levels later on. I I want to be pretty sure that there's levels later on. But at the moment, there is no levels. I'm not gaining any levels. I'm not gaining any strength. They all just came from like the stuff I bought. Experience points. All right, well, I'll just keep talking about things that I, I want. So I wonder what level I can get to. I'm sure the max level isn't like too high or... There we go. 5 XP. Deck is increased, defense is increased. See, that's perfect. I'm gonna go check this way, because I wasn't sure if I missed anything. Yep, here's a chest. Grover Zero. And just like every other game, I'm sure my health increases with every level. Yes, Star. I really like the music in this game, though. It's got that, like, generic 
feel too, but at the same time, it's kind of why it's good. Is because it sounds like every generic like RPG. Got what I found. Some fresh streams might heal your wounds. Oh, okay. And you can save at them. Okay, so fountains are save points now. It will get pretty repetitive. And they definitely... I, I feel like that's almost one of their inside jokes at this point. Is, did I go this way? No. Inside jokes at the moment is uh, the... Uh, the encounter rate is really, really high. Like, ridiculously high. If something happened somewhere, but you don't know what. Every two seconds, gotta freaking fight Skaven and Torx and... At least I'm getting, getting them levels. Getting them grinds on. Now, what? What is that supposed to be? What are you from? Tell me what you're from. Stupid ass torque. Crystal. Now I get the crystal. Yoke up the guardian of the crystal. Plus, Kafka's ghost. This one looks powerful. He was the crystal's guardian for many centuries, but it looks been corrupted by some evil power. Most likely the same evil has attacked my hometown. Let's get the crystal. We need its power to fight. Sounds like a good plan. Oh. I just wanted to see if I could use my special real quick. Uh, boss animation it looks much more dangerous now. Uh, I should probably heal her. Just as I said that. I'm assuming I can't hit him, yep. Phantom counter. So it's just a typical. That was nothing like Kafka though. From Final Fantasy VI. Looks absolutely nothing like him. Made it out. Play the waiting game. Th this is a lot of what Final Fantasy fights are though. Like you get that... They have that moment where they can counter attack and you just gotta do nothing. Alright, I can take one more hit then I wanna heal. It's a little annoying after they're dead, but I'm sure I can still do it. Yep. It's been activated. Woo! And it'll probably, and I'm pretty sure at this moment it changes to a completely different look. Yep. So now I have 3D, so everything's in three dimensions. Here we go. Power of the crystal is incredible! Now I feel I can fight the evil which friends my village. We have to cross the Nor mines in the order to reach it. Thanks for helping me. You're my hero. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. 16-bit music. See, that's even cool. Like, the music's, like, better. Yep, yeah, life hearts no longer be killed in just one shot. So this is back to kind of like Zelda. And if I remember right, um, I can actually go back like almost all the way to the start. Like the the beginning areas will start looking like this too. If you go back, I'm probably not going to, but I just think it's cool that they do that little detail. Like they made the whole game look like. The different levels, oh. Hey, I only lost a quarter. But they aren't Octoroks. Alright. Hey. I gotta quit getting hit. Hey. Die. Forward, backwards, swing. You're chopped down this tree. Aw. I 
really. Come on, give me apples. I'm hungry. Apples restore health. There's a secret over here. I know it. I know it to be true. Oh, I need. Oh, nope. I can get around. It's probably bombs. Give me bombs. Oh, just cards. Alright. Pakun! Pakun card! Give me that freaking Pakun card. That, okay, that is one thing that I feel like, okay, I do probably need bombs, because I need to get through these rocks. That is one thing that always, like, I felt like set aside a lot of different games in quality to me, is the music. If a song gets annoying, or if you just find yourself, like, humming along with it, or enjoying it, or just be, being excited to listen to a song sets aside a game's quality to me. Pixel textures. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I don't want to go out yet. Oh, is it? I think this is back to the beginning. Might be. You go through that? Nope. Alright, just gotta go through there. Okay. Oh yeah, this is like the vi this is the very start. Yep. Okay, so I so I did kind of remember, right? This is like the first area all over again. It's just different now because I obviously have all these textures. You can tell those are cactuses and save point. Game saved, which it didn't heal me, but whatever. I'm not too worried about that. Can I open it? bonus will not drop some hearts by the shelf. Yay! So I can now get the health back. Didn't drop heart. Ooh! Epic open. Camera zoom looks... Yep. <laughs> That's kind of like the whole, like, gratification thing when you're, like, getting a new item in the game where certain games, like, almost waste your time with the amount of like time it takes to open an item like sometimes in zelda you're just like you feel like you're just waiting an eternity for him to open the chest and you're like it's a freaking key i know it's a key just move on just give me the key move on and we're done yep. and then this is gonna be something simple like star yep Oh, that's going to bother me. Just because I pointed it out, I'm thinking about it now. Oh. Thank you, bat. Oh, okay, textures. Minor green painting. It's so nice. Look at how nice it looks. M star. Collect all the hidden stars in Evil Land. As for this song, though, I know I've talked a little bit about it. Oh, well. Just stand in front of him. Okay, he's just dancing. He's just like, hey, guys, how's it going? I'm just going to stand here. And get through the... Reach my hometown. Hope everyone is doing okay there. Please hurry, my hero. Yeah, I am the hero. Because you just died in the last battle. Because you're just a stupid healer. Three-dimensional world. Look how nice that looks. The world is no longer flat. To the cave. Okay, so I'm assuming that I can't remember right exact. I think this one is more of a Zelda dungeon than anything else. And now explore the mines. Is that Bowser symbol? That's a Bowser symbol. It's a Bowser. It seems like they're telling this dangerous way. <laughs> So that's not like the boss room. Probably have to go all the way back. Yep, puzzles to go or the door is locked. We need to find a way to open it. I'm counting on you. Pointless exposition. Huzzah! Pickle 
robots. There we go. I was already trying to hit them. This is like, um, if anyone's ever, like, played or seen, um, DLC Quest, where it just makes fun of, like, uh, the whole pointless need of DLC in, in games. There we go, I've got that door open. Or mechanism. Makes you wonder why they even have doors. Red wizard. Okay, so that that is gonna need a bomb. Oh, come on. Alright, I'm probably gonna get key right here. I imagine. Trap room! Maybe I shouldn't stepped in here. Okay, this is one thing though that like I'm kinda getting into like a little bit of a farther appearance in games. Where this is almost like uh if you're playing Zelda, um Link to the Past. If you're playing like a Link to the Past and that the trap rooms were in the original Zelda games. Oh, sk skeletons. Up for enemies! There you go. Okay, so he just blocks the first attack and then you get him on the second, I'm assuming. Alright. Wait, what's exposition again? I can see something under the water here. It must be another mechanism nearby. Yeah, of course there is. I noticed that, like, rooms ago. Thank you. We got something happening somewhere. Gotcha. Die. Alright, this one moved. So now I can go in this room. Yeah. Always go left, or was it right? Is there a... What game is that referencing? Because I don't actually know. Because I know, like, there are mazes in different games that if you always go, like, a certain direction, like, or it sends you in a certain direction most of the time. Okay. I need to get a key to come back to this door. I know going in one direction at first always helps. Just to kind of get your like lay of the land. So right there, I, I went left right away. He? Guess what it's used for? Not opening doors. That'd be stupid. Imagine if you use key to open doors in games. Got a star. Look at my guy. Look at him. Everything in this game just feels like a mixture of like two different things like my guys look like the okay So he's carrying the sword. He's wearing the green The green tunic so he's got like the shirt and Like appearance of like Link, but then you look at his like hair and his helmet and Then he just looks like straight out of Final Fantasy just like his cloud hair and This is like anime as could be Die! Die! There you go. Go back to the afterlife. I had to kill him for the second time. Pushable box! How do I push? There we go. I feel like I'm gonna have to backtrack the whole way. Or pushable box. Go! Go, box. Yeah. Speed running this bitch. Not really. If I was, if I was speed running, I probably would have been a lot faster at some of the other stuff, but I'm, just, I'm still making decent progress. I'm still going fast enough, aren't I? Don't answer that. Oh. Skeletons! Die! Die! Oh. That was just pointless damage that could have been entirely avoided. Come on. One more. There you go. 
Alright, what do I get now? Wait, it didn't... I'm not... High def user interface. Oh, the heart's changed. Okay. Um, I just realized I don't do the, like, slow opening chests anymore. That was just in the outside world. Okay. There are a lot of monsters in the previous room. I hope you're not too hurt too badly. Sorry if I can't help you that much fighting. Best let me heal your wounds. Hey, thank you. You got a hole. Good place to get rid of invincible monsters. Oh, so I gotta, I gotta bonk them. That was like Bugs Bunny sound. Like, classic Bugs Bunny just... Or like, Coyote Roadrunner. I mean, I know that's still Looney Tunes. Man. These guys are just a pain in the ass. Just die. Just die. There you go. Yeah, we're on. Oh, traps. No! Watch your step, can you heal me? That is an annoying sound. Thank you. Oh, I still die in one hit though. If I fall once, I'm dead. So there's going to be a random cut and then just this. So basically what happened is um, my uh, camera footage stuff, it, it just randomly cut off. I noticed it only because of uh, the light on my camera. And so um, it cut off and I quit, I quit playing and um, so, so I just quit for the night. I figured, all right, I'll just take a break. That's kind of a, a sign. I think what happened is um, the camera was on so long that it actually just sh shut off. Maybe it was thinking like it was left on or something. So now I am continuing on, and I'm, I'm only a second to go. So not too much. And... Um, it's the next morning, I, I literally, I just got up, the sun's not even out yet, so, just continue on. Alrighty. Oh. 
course I did. Alright. I like just did this too. I was thinking that alright, I was thinking that one wasn't now. Up. On the bright side though, I have more life than I did. Because whenever it cut off, I know I was like really close to it. Yeah, alright, auto fire. Firing at me. Alright. That is that contrast is really bad. Is there anything over the left I missed? Nope, it doesn't look like it. I was looking at the top left of the screen. But that fire contrast is just awful. You can't even tell the difference. When it's over like here. It's just it's zero difference. Alright, let's do this. Skeletons. Wizards are getting annoying now. They kill that one. The whole quarter of a heart is kind of nice that they don't take that much from me. Alright. Couple more skeletons down. Only like the one wizard. Alright. There we go. And dead. Chest! Big item! What do I get? Boss door key? Alright. Alright, so I get to go back to like. Of course the door changes. So now I get to go back there. Still haven't gotten bombs. I was expecting to get bombs and having to backtrack. My adventures as Clink. Clink the warrior. Clink the grand. The girl's still with me, too. Oh, is that up? Oh, I can go get that now. Okay. So, I can come up here. What do I get? Give me things. Star. I found ten stars. I'm actually surprised I found that many just in this playthrough. Alright. No, there's another chest right there. Maybe I can't get that. Oh! Screw you and your fire. Freaking whiz ro robs, because you're not even a full whiz robe. Whiz robe, whatever they're called in Zelda. Alrighty. Boss time. Let's fight. If I, if I remember right, I think he's just like a dark version of you. There's a strong evil presence ahead. No, duh. Yeah, we went into the boss store. If it's not another frightening monster, maybe a cute one this time. I do enjoy cute monsters. My guy's kind of cute. Something is coming in. Yeah, it is just a dark version of yourself. Hey! Looks like you, Clink. Is it real or just a shadow? Whatever it is, we have no choice but to fight it. Fight! Uh, pretty simple. I think I just dodge his attack so he rams the wall. Come on! It has to be straight on. You can't do it at an angle. Hits. And that spawn was stupid. God! That, that like hissing sound that he makes. Oh, come on! That was dead center. You hit that wall. Arm attacks don't seem to affect him. Alright! He's only vulnerable once he makes himself vulnerable. I am a great warrior that can overcome obstacles by letting my enemies defeat themselves. He basically 
basically did all the work for me. I just, you know, reap the rewards? There's no rewards? Just! I, I do get a reward. Alright. Dun 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 dun! Legendary sword, heavy but looks cool. Does it remind you of some past hero? Yep. So now I have Cloud's Buster Sword. Yeah. Oh! Oh my gosh! The, the Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's so good! Look at this! This this is in fact first footage of the game. You're actually just watching the first footage. I think we can reach the exit of the Noria Mine. Hurry to my village, I hope it's not too late. This is first footage, this is actually the remake. Pretty fights hold on until the fourth dimension. Look at that. Look at these new graphics. I'm just gonna explore a little bit. Oh, holy. That mushroom looks so angry. He is a Zumba. Not to be confused with a Goomba. He is a Zumba. As you told before. See, what well, up the gauge just makes you all warm and fuzzy inside because you're like, I'm growing! That is that is a huge enjoyment to me though in games like the ability to measure and just like see your progression, see how much your character progresses. Um actually I don't know. I meant to go back to heal, but that's okay. Heal. Oh, I have heal both. I only want to hear click. Down. That that music's like kind of heavy. Die. Can I just heal one? Nope. It appears that I always have to heal both. And the Buster Sword is apparently slowing me down. I think his reach level 5 is attacking increased. Okay, cool. I kind of wish my accuracy would increase, but that's okay. Pre-rendered backgrounds. A new way of displaying things with much more detail. At last, we're back. I hope everyone is fine. I'm happy the village has not been swallowed by the waves. Would the power of the crystal be enough to save us? Okay, if I remember right, I think I just have, like, two more sections left to go. Pantries used to protect the old place. That black cathedral. Case. There's a hole of Igil will be gone soon, and it will stop here. So, I'm... I think I just have a, um, uh, look at that new loading screen. I, I think I just have a section that's like, um, Doom left, and then, uh, the finish up to the game. But I'll just do the story right now. Uncle, is everything fine? Sid, with an S. Kind of surprised that they didn't just put an extra letter in front of him. Paris. You're finally back home. A lot has happened and the waste have been spreading faster. Almost half of a gill is gone and I need to act fast. Uncle, we got the power of the crystal and Clot's blade from Nori of uh, mine. It should be enough to defeat whatever lies in the Black Cathedral. Oh, and I found Clink here to wield the sword. He's not really anything special. He's, he's kind of just, kind of just a douche. I told him he doesn't need to say anything, but he just talks away. That's good, but you'll need the am Amulet of Gorn to enter the Citadel. I've been split, it's been split into two parts. The first one is the Sacred Grove, and you can find it south of Agro, Agio. I went there last week, and the cliff near the entrance has collapsed recently. You will need a bomb to clear it. You should talk to Garen, the bald card player in the market. 
He used to be an officer in the army. Clink, we should try to find the bomb so we can get into the sacred grove. During this time, I'd find a way to get stronger. I think I should not always rely on you to protect me. I'll go home and try to find something in my father's library. He was a mighty wizard. He was powerful. In the oh, he had many powerful spells. Eh, whatever. Come on, let's go. I'll join you back later. Go talk to Garen about the bombs. Her mother has a had a strong will too. Good luck. Party member leaves. I feel lonely. Aww. Okay. HD backgrounds. That's a lot better. What's this? Okay. So okay. So Garen's in the market. I know exactly where that is. It's down here and to the right. I do remember that pretty clearly because then I have to go farther to the right to continue on. I don't get the reference of the city. I don't know the city's name. That one's kind of lost on me. She probably had something important to say. She was like the only lady standing there. Okay. Restless child. Card players ready for a game. And... Expensive merchant. Scared? I retired from the Masia army not too long ago, and I'll keep that kind of thing. Should talk to our nurse just north of here. She knows all the gossip about Egil and his people. Your man and friend. Uh, I, you know, I'll do it. I'll, I'll just play. Easy. Yeah. So this is a complete reference right here to Final Fantasy IX, which was actually one of oh, it's even the same monster. That thing was in that was in Final Fantasy uh, IX. That's obviously the plant from um, P.D. Piranha from um, Mario, Bat, I don't know what those things are. Okay, so basically what you do is you play your card, then the opponent has their chance to play a card, and so the seven is higher than the four, so they take it. Now what I can do is I want to use a card like this one and take that one. And it will actually take. Alright. So I just have to beat his amount of guys. Is all I have to do. Okay, so 1 1. I don't want to use that. I want to try and save that for the right middle. Alright, I'll use this one because it's got a really powerful right. So we've got to play something huge to take that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick uh, I guess this is the only spot I can take really. Take the bottom one. So it's a I technically have four so I win. So yeah. Okay. It's a little bit more dumbed down. Uh, I, I don't need to do the other ones. It's a little bit more dumbed down, but yeah, it's basically just higher number wins. Um, in uh, in Final Fantasy IX, you could actually pick your cards. Oh, the old lady that lives uh, near the well. Okay. So now I have to walk back to the well. Fetch quests. Okay. What do you have? Silver armor, fast DVD player. I get the silver armor. Defense increased. Yay! I like how armor just like can be miraculously better. Just like as you get farther, it's just like okay. So if you're actually living in these worlds of these games, it's like okay. Some the people in like the starting areas just have like the easiest lives, even though like they always seem to be in a bad situation. The monsters that are around are like nothing. Then the people that are like at the very end of the game are just like surrounded by all these giant like dragons and stuff like they walk outside and encounter a dragon every day and they're they're fine you know dragons outside that's cool but like you can't fucking deal with a slime just 
you know, slime sitting on the ground. We're terrorized by monsters every day. Can you please go kill the the slime at the waterfall? And then you go and do it, and then they're like, "Oh, now we can we can live peacefully." I ha okay, bombs. I I have some in my cellar. If you want to come to my cellar and have some bombs and popsicles, they've been there since the war, and I almost certainly they will still work just fine. But. I'll only give them to you if you can do something for me. You see a dragon attacking the countryside, leaving only Chard Karan behind. You get rid of the mighty beast. Deputy Ryland. Island. Ryland. I don't get that one. Deputy Ryland, I don't get. Was it heavy duty this week? You should be able to tell you more. I will find him at the entrance of the village. Yep. This one's just a back and forth. I do like the airship, the airship in the background, because that's what Sid was known for in the Final Fantasy VII game. Was um, he was he was building an oh, is this the guy to talk to? He's building an airship. And see the rocks on the ground, dark earth. You have to tell the kid to get back to the village. I see him playing around the crater. I don't like. It. You can't let children play near a dragon. You should talk to his mother. She lives in the house next to Sid's. I know they, they they do this on purpose. This is the whole point. I forgot this part about the game though. I probably just blocked it out because it's annoying. Now I talk to her and then she's gonna direct me somewhere else. You're not old enough. You're old enough to know a dragons don't exist, right? But that damn kid. That damn kid must have stolen the bombs from the old lady cellar and thought that's why your crackers were a bit too big and heavy. Tell him to give you the bombs. Just so it'd be safer in your hands. Okay, now I go talk to the kid. Then the kid's gonna tell me he doesn't have them and that the old lady's been lying this whole time. <sighs> fun, fun. Thank you for joining me. If anyone's still watching at this point, I I commend you. You are far, far braver than I, kid. And the bots, I'm in so much trouble, but it was worth it. Can I at least keep one? No. I have bombs, right? Blink! Did you get bombs? I learned a powerful spell. Did you find the bombs? Bombs! Yeah, you could have just said yes. You didn't have to present the dangerous bomb in the town square. Like, nobody else reacts to that, like some guy just holding up a bomb. I'm the least. I guess that's just like a general folly in games, is the fact that, like, Nobody reacts to a bomb. Like, nobody reacts to somebody just like walking around with a big old sword like that. I'm to continue on. Alright, they call them fuckboys. Damn. Alright, what's the matter? Oh, yeah, it's like vanished. I don't know, it's just a strong... It's a strong spell. I was thinking it was gonna be like, uh... The X banished, like, in, uh... Final Fantasy VI. Alright, those things are surprisingly strong, so I might... Um, I don't believe that I have MP with her, so it seems like I can just spam magic. Okay, but that's something I didn't notice up until this point, and so I don't have, you know, any magic. Alright, Karis, defense increased. Yeah, mag magic's just a, a number. Just a state of mind, dude. Oh, damn. Might be in trouble if she keeps in it. Alright. Try and kill the weak guys first. What the hell? Are you kidding me? I'm enjoying the hyper-realistic, uh, piranha plants, so... 
Imagine if everything in Mario looked like that. Oh, no kids would ever- Oh, I didn't mean to attack that one. I thought I was attacking the bug. Uh, there we go. There we go. Get the heal. Alright. Yeah, just imagine if it was like all like... Okay, am I attacking the right one? No. Just hyper realistic and scary as shit. Oh, I probably should have tagged the right one. Because I've already hit that one. Yeah, so... Uh, one thing about, like, the way I'm starting to do some of my, my recordings now is I'm not... Holy shit! Stop! Stop! Um, one of the ways I'm starting to do my recording is that, um, I actually am toning down the volume of the actual game and my microphone volume a little bit so that, um, when I'm recording it isn't quite as loud, but to me, um, the music has just been, like, jamming. This, this is, like, way too early in the morning. It's, like... Yeah, it's like 7.30 here, and I mean, that's not incredibly early, but it's pretty, it's pretty early for, like, just have, like, this heavy metal, just, like, I imagine increased to the cave. Alright. The ruins of Sir. Yep, okay. So this area is, like, um... Bad. Got character selection. So I'm. I think I'm actually gonna go with her, cause the first time I did this, I obviously just used the other character. Um, I just used Clink. But yeah, this plays like um, like Diablo and some other games that are like. So I'm gonna get like a health meter and different stuff. Chain combo hit. There we go. So that heals me. I gotta collect a lot of money. And also, whenever I grab stuff um, off the ground, it just goes straight on to any equips. So my character's like strongest when I get like all the random things. So now I have that. I don't think they actually do anything. Yeah, that's right, I remember, because they were all like, I'm looking and I'm like, that seems like cool stats, but it's like, 2% dodge chance, um, then you, they, like, you can't dodge, like, dodging isn't a thing in this, oh, I was thinking the ground was supposed to be like that, that's just like, that's just problems with, like, loading or something. There we go. Yeah, I don't. I really don't think there's a difference. I, like, I think. Okay, so she does like the crystals. If I remember right, Clink just does like a triple slash or something. I don't think I can change right now. I think I have to go back to like the start or do something else. Okay, so the, this interface. Yep, health bar is on the bottom now. So now it's just whatever health I lose. Yeah, okay. Ten to backstab damage. Yeah. Does that work though? Ambient light. Ambient light will vary depending on the place you are. Yep, so now the lights are stronger when you're closer to them. Cool for making games got very sophisticated later on. I think it's like cool that you can play a game like this and see the you know like idea that you know games have progressed. Like in, in a span of just a couple hours of playing a game, you can actually see like the entire um spectrum, I guess. 
is what I would be going for. Um, of, you know, different games, different genres, different RPGs. You know, Diablo is very different from Zelda and um, Final Fantasy and, you know, any of these other games that you can, like, draw comparisons to. Sorry that I always just say Final Fantasy. I know it's not, you know, the only RPG, but, you know, that one always will hold special place in my heart. That one, you know, those are the games that I played. Those are the ones that most people are introduced to um, RPGs. You're into damage to stones and walls. You can't break stones and walls. Uh, and belt. 10% grinding speed. Spirit of Typhoon. Alright, what's the Spirit of Typhoon? 5 damage against mythical creatures. These are, these are kinda mythical creatures. Hey, what do I get? Star? Doppel. Alright, continuing on. Yeah, then there's a, so there's a boss at the end of this, and if I remember right, I go back to the town, and I get the second piece somewhere then I just go and fight the final boss and the f in the final section plays out like um, actually you know what surprise you gotta keep watching or, or, or skip ahead to, to figure out how the final boss is fought dynamic lights time to play fireworks with your weapons there we go Spiders and skeletons and everything. Die! Oh shit. Uh, save. No! Heal! Heal! There we go. Oh wow! I. I truly came and see where my health is. That turns you into a dragon. 12 month cooldown. get an item you could actually use. Thank you, Bass, for just giving me a solid HP. Alright, what do I get now? Aw, just a star. I don't want to be a star. I want things I can use. Mini map, yay! That actually helps out a lot. I like that. I am very happy that just appeared. Okay, up and then to the right, and then I believe when I start coming down, um, is when I uh, multiple kills. Okay. So that's just a kill count right there. Oh. I didn't notice the multiple kills or anything. Oh, you know what I just realized? I think I think this section of the game is actually the same um like cliff face or whatever as uh Final Fantasy VI. Where um Killing spree. Hey, killing spree. 1 point, 1 defensive years and 10% loot gather, loot gathering speed. Look at that. Bring it on! 
Bring on all the skeletons. I gotta get out of the way. This is bad. Monster kill. I gotta get some of that health. There we go. Heal. Heal, heal, heal. Spirit of adventure. Yay. Flame giant pinky cover of the pony. Don't ask. Helmet of Twilight, state-of-the-art solar-powered helmet, grants night vision to its wearer, and spirit of adventure, plus 10 to feeling adventurous. I'm feeling mighty adventurous. Uh, so as far as Diablo goes though, uh, I really haven't played any of them. I played Diablo 2. Uh, quite a bit. I played through most of that. I didn't actually ever beat it. Uh, but I did play through quite a bit. Uh, I did like using uh, necromancers. And I like summoning things. I like summoning like the skeletons that you get at the start. And some of the later guys. I thought, you know, those were very cool. So I did enjoy doing that quite a bit. Um, I've obviously also did like melee characters, barbarians. Uh, so none of the other ones really like spoke to me that much, but I uh, I end up you know you doing that a lot. And then uh, as far as Diablo, I did I have played Diablo one. I think I played Diablo one on the original PlayStation. Um, I think my brother and I played a little bit of that. And then Diablo three, um, I've had friends that wanted me to get it. Uh, I have friends that wanted me to play it with them on the PS4, but I um, I just never got around to it. I know it's a game I would enjoy, especially since, um, so I had a lot of problems at the start. I, I did hear a lot about that, a lot of the grinding issues, um, that can be very, you know, problematic. Uh, I know plenty of games I've played that you have to grind a lot, that can be very annoying. Monster Hunter, in particular, is just a grind fest. But, you know, still, still good games. And I know Diablo 3, even at the start, was a good game. But, uh, getting into, like, what, are they on, like, Season 6? I think they're at Season 6, and... You know, it, it seems like a fantastic game at this point. Boots of Val Undersold. Plus 10 to hit and run tactics for when a boss is just too strong. Knee pads of arthritis. Oh, I, I already looked at that. Ring of, of Bovine Mastery. 70% damage against cows. You never know when this is going to come in handy. Tyrannical Gladiator Claws, 10% damage versus other players. These pants will also prove your worth. Okay. 152 fear resistance. Or 250 fear. Warm and comfortable. Revive you when 20% HP when you are killed by a unicorn. So only when I die by a unicorn. You just became the first gangsta fantasy hero. Plus three to chivalry, also great for disco nights, and critical hit chance, which is like nothing. Look at that. Yeah, so I, as far as I can tell, there's no real big difference between uh, playing as Karis or Clink at this part. I think it's just like basically who your avatar is. Maybe the combo is a little bit different. Um, I was thinking you might have, like, ranged attacks, but it doesn't appear to be, uh, still kind of area-oriented. And wizards are coming up. Okay. And one more. Hey, her. Why? Well, not all. Oh, so... I am fully equipped. Medal of Honor, double XP gain just in case. Undeads will now take sunburns as normal people do. Creeper Diffusal Kit. Allow you to prevent creepers from exploding if you're quicker enough. A 
I want through. Boss time. If you can't tell, there's a there's a boss down there. Big, big, big scully guy. Alright, open chest. Oops. Shouldn't have, no, should have not opened that one. The master door can stop you. You will soon rule the world and I will be a chief of this army. The pirate and crystal not play in this time. Prepare to die. somewhere. I can't be sure it's the last time. No, no, I can't be. Cannot be sure. I'm highly not sure. Okay, so that was that. Grab, grab the piece that I need. Dun, 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 dun. Second part of the arm milk. One of the two parts of the arm milks. And, let's travel back. Come portal. Why go such long distances when you can just, you know, go through that? Alright. Alright, he wants to complete his collection of double twin. Alright, now I just need the first part. I got the second part. talk to Sid. I actually, I, I don't remember paying attention where he was talking about where to get the first part. I remember that I had to go to that part that I just did, but I don't remember where the first part is. Good job fighting the first part. They have an I'm just going to Go for the other half. South of, okay. So, oh yeah, I needed bombs. That was the point. map is still there. That's nice. Yeah, that's why when I went to the right, um, to get to that area, that was so dangerous. Because I was supposed to keep fighting these guys for a little while. Big Zumbas and other things. Okay, so that's why the other guy, like, killed me very fast. So... Definitely okay. So there's one area longer than I thought the game was, but still, I, I mean, I'm I know I'm drawing on the end. Why do I use pumps? Oh, it's like Bomber Man. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, Bomber. I get arrows here, and then I can use fire arrows. It's crystal, I think it's a safe one. Um, I travel. Oh, 
almost switch between past and present. So, okay, so this goes back to, like, how it was at the start of the game. Yeah, so that isn't really anything anymore. So I can cross through that. Yeah, now I need to do this, then I can walk across that. There we go. Party! I've been watching, um, I've been watching Rick and Morty. That's, that is a, a that's not a show to talk about when you need to be paying attention, all right? That, but that show, is, that is a beautiful show. They did a, they did a fantastic job on that entire show, in my opinion. Okay, go this way. Back to the start. Okay, just pay attention. so bad, but then I lost more health. Okay. Okay, I can go across here. Down. Right. And up. And I want to go to right. Nope. I want to go not fall off the ledge. Okay, so right. Then up. useful, but it's a star. I really don't believe they do a single thing. I don't even think, like, it unlocks anything special at the end. I think it's just... Cool. Now, I think I get the bow. And I can't fall, otherwise I die. Okay, so I need to cross back here. It's hard to tell where I'm at because the thing isn't there anymore. Come on! I have to go all the way around. I was hoping there's a little shortcut. So 
guys. Alright. Something good, not a star. Not a star! You know, it could change the music, it could, you know, add something, you know, useful, but... Okay! Combo attack. Yep, so third attack does that. I did find half the stars. So that is an accomplishment. Okay, so I can use this here. Do that. Now. I just need to send that quite a distance. Okay, so I don't need to break that rock. I can just go down here. Come on. Die. Die! Whatever. Angles! Stop! Okay. Alright, we're good. Well, cool. Look at me having trouble in all these, like, easy spots. Shot that way up here, and I hit that. Okay, so now I should do that. Nope. So now I can go to uh, present day Canada. That's out of the way, and I need to get in there. So now I need to send it to present day, which might work by destroying that. Shooting this one over there. That tree's right there, but that won't bother me too 
That's, that sends me all the way back, doesn't it? Oh no! This room! Okay, that's good. I was really worried. I was thinking that sent me back to the town. Alright, alright, all good. Now, to not play like an idiot. I was thinking that my, my triple hit would do so much more. But then it did not serve me well. I think I was just being lazy, to be honest. Alright, now they're actually, they are actually like... This is kind of annoying. This is annoying me. This is very annoying. Stop! Alright, I'll... There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. My star, come on, give me my star. I need my star. Give me it. Give me the fix. Give me my star. There we go. Thank you, star buddy. This is how I die. 
this is how I die. Oh! Come on! That makes me so mad! I was like done with the room! All I need to do is kill those two guys. Grab the chest and I was done. I was done! Instead, I'm just like showing how bad I can be at games. My, my intense lack of skill. Okay. Oh, they dropped down from the ceiling. Okay. I gotta kill these guys quick. Fucking whiff, whiffer fragger. Not even using words. Then I just. Oh no, I need to clear the room. I was gonna say, can I just grab the thing and go? And they, they're appearing like so far away that I can't even like get to them in time to hit them. Okay, I can kill that one. to go. I don't care about that star up there. I know it's up there, but I don't care about stars. Do you ask the amulet ready to, ready to finish this quest? Yep. Oh yeah, so this is like... time seem like so I f what I feel like is I feel like this is gonna be a two-hour video I'll, I have no clue on the time I my timetable is all messed up right now but this is a fairly long video that I'm putting now I know the upload's gonna take a while and I can go to the black place the black citadel by the east of the river okay yeah, we can go there now. Thought I got the airship. Yeah, this is probably gonna be my longest video I'm ever putting up. Um, reason I'm doing it. Uh, I kind of made a promise to myself, like, early on when I was starting to do YouTube that I want to do different. I, I always want to be trying to make different content, do different things. I never want it to get boring or... Bye bye. Oh, that was just for. The, okay, so that was just for the. Okay. Get a couple. 
a couple of things, so I don't have that CD load time, so yeah. It just instantly loads. Now I just go right. But yeah, doing different things has always been like uh, a big thing to me for this channel. For the content I put out, I want to, you know, each game to play differently. Like I don't, I don't want it to get bored. You know, I, I've been playing a bit of RPGs on here, but at the same time, like that doesn't mean I don't ever want to play like you know some shooters every now and again. Because that's that's the beauty of like video games. It's the diversity. You can play a wide, very diverse set of games. Play, you know, a shooter. Play a platformer. You, know, you, you don't have to get sick of playing the same thing. You know, unless you know, like, you're a pro and you just gotta fake it, like you're, like you're having the same fun on a game as you did like the first day. You know, you watch some of like the streamers or whatever, and you're, like you know they don't. They don't want to be doing that like every single day anymore. It just breaks up the monotony. It's, it's, some games are so good at breathing new life into a genre and bringing new ideas to the table. Oh, I've been Talking and then I forget to do it. It's okay, so, so I got healed this turn. Yeah, basically all I'm doing with like, her is healing. He's attacking because he can just kill everything one hit. a battle as I was entering this place. Okay. Here's... Here we go. So, this is you. You are the evil that has been ravaging my hometown. Just call me... Zyphros. You have come a long way to find me, but all your efforts are in vain. Your ridiculous power... <coughs> that, that voice is gonna hurt my foot. That voice is gonna hurt my throat. Your ridiculous power is nothing compared to mine, and I'll prove to you right now. Yeah, so... Here's the first battle... Fight... Crystal. He does some melee attacks, I do some melee attacks, I use some magic. I use X-Crystal one more turn, yep, now... External heal. Turn off heal. I'm kind of bad at that right now. He is going all out. 
out on her. Seeing attack to put you at zero or one HP, which is the charge attack. Um, a mail wave. So I was supposed to lose that wheel, not sure I will fight you until we die. Uh, yeah, I was like 100% sure that I was supposed to lose this fight. Then I got worried that um, I was just supposed to heal before the devastating attack. Yep, so... Here comes the next part. Karis! Thank you! You were always there for me. Always there to protect me. Always there to fight with me. You promise me you will fight on. Please get back to Greenland. I'll be watching over you. I imagine if all like deaths in video games were like that, just like very sudden, like, oh no, I'm dead. Ah! You got special power. Okay. So, Bahamut. Bad bombings. <laughs> there we are. 756, that is a lot. I'll head back to the mana tree, and then, if when my wounds are here, I'll destroy this world. Yeah, I, I mean... I... I took that very lightly at death, but in all honesty, I kind of, I kind of couldn't take it seriously, just because of the, just because of the type of game. It's like that's in video games can hit me very hard, and there are certain video games that like will make you feel um, but yeah, this I really want to. I, I'm, I'm sorry I can't feel for the death of Paris, who died. Oh, sorry, spoiler alert. Um, Karis, who is Eris, who Eris dies in her respective game. Um, sorry I can't feel for the loss of Karis. Click. Yeah, so I don't think I get another partner, I think, um, I think I'm on my own for the rest of the game. Oh, I like how I went on that big quest to, like, get, this, get the ability to go into that tower just for that. Oh no. Sad. Everyone's... Disheveled. Except for the kid chasing the butterfly. He just loves chasing that freaking butterfly. It's like the greatest butterfly. It's all blue and shit. Alright, continuing on. Continuing on. Alright, it's all the sad news. Karis may not be of this world anymore, but I can still feel her presence. I think she's with Clink. Her power will stay with him forever. I can't believe Karis is dead. This is a very sad day in the history. 
Ophelia. This is not in vain, though. She gave her power to Clink so that he could save the world. Please take my airship. I know I have to defeat Zyphros. With the power of Karis, you were strong enough. I believe in you. We all believe in you. Come and see me when you have some time. I might be able to help. Yeah, so this is kind of like that. Like, the end, everyone says their thing. Alright, so, um, there was another random cut. So, once again, the video actually, uh, cut. And I had to restart it. So, I'm, I just went back to the last save point, And I'm right here. I didn't even finish the conversation. It, it's, it's a light on my camera. And I can notice when it turns off. Because it's, it, it's a big, like, there's two blue lights like this. And then there's one little red light in the center, and, and I know that um, if the blue lights are off, I'm not recording at all, and if the red light is off, then my camera for my face cam isn't on, and both of them just shut off, so it's it's pretty obvious, but alright, where, wherever it was, um, I know I made it at least this far. With the power of Karis, you'll be strong enough, I believe in you, and we all believe in you. Come and see me when you have the time. I might be able to help. Cause this, and this is the point in the end. I was starting to say this is the point in the end uh, where everyone like kind of comes together and says their piece and dot dot dot. So most of us believe in you. That's pretty good, isn't it? Most of us. And even though I'm just one guy, that's good enough. I believe Karis did not die in vain. Clink, you must go to the man tree and defeat Zyphros once and for all. I give you my airship. It is the only way to reach the mana tree. The fate of the world is up in your hands now, Clink. Hey, airship. Tired of walking? Air Evolution welcomes you aboard. Oh, I think, yeah, I think I need to go out. So I need to head out. And I'm on that last little bit. Um, Was it this guy? I think it was this guy that was like, come and see me when you... Freddy. Oh, he took chocobos. They're kind of big yellow bird. They live in the plains to the north. Be careful not to hurt. They have, po they have pointy tusks. Their cooked meat is actually delicious. I think someone in Angolia knows how to prepare it. Okay, so he just gives me advice about things that I haven't completed yet. Uh, as far as the camera goes, though, I did reset it. I'm not... I don't plan on doing any long plays of games like this. Um, I'm going to play Evil Land um, probably directly after this. I'm probably just going to sit down and do most of that in one sitting. But damn it, the airship's on the other side. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably just going to sit down and play most of that in one sitting. I'll, I will chop it up. Um, I'm thinking 15 minute blocks on that. That's kind of my plan at the moment. But 15 minutes seems good. I also have to work on some other games. I know I'm setting aside other games. Um, it's just I don't have the time for the most part. This is nice because it's actually I like I last night and today where I actually get the chance and I, I really wanted just to sit down and do this for a long time. All right, mandatory. And fight. And I plan on doing it more. I plan on sitting down. Like this is, this is probably something I could have chunked up into several videos. But oh, okay. So that I was gonna say instant fight. All right, hey Frost, stop hiding. Show yourself. I was waiting for you. Ha ha ha. Yeah. So okay. So what I remember is the fight changes as you go through. Now, like, come, let me tell you a story. A long time ago, my people were ruling this land, but they were attacked and killed for their thorns. I am the only survivor, and I'll take my revenge today. Will I share the same fate as that girl? The man tree will be your graveyard. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I need to hit his hands. His hand eyes. So he's just 
like a skeleton, right? That's basically all he is. Sense. All right. I get back to the point in the fight I was. I know what to do now. So I think I got it figured out. So I have to hit him once there, and then hit this thing. There you go. So what I've been doing on the chest is kind of pointless. So I just have to hit that once, and then it flies over here, and then yeah. This should be good. Come on! Come on! I was swinging it. It's gonna hit me. Just barely, too. Fuck that. This is actually just an annoyance. So that was three. Maybe the game does four just to be like. Alright, so there we go. Four. Yep, so now here's the next part. Broken my stone armor, but in this shape you cannot. In this shape you cannot hit me. Anymore. I'll burn every part of you. Come on. There we go. Okay. All right. Come on. You really missed them. Now I have to go all the way back? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, and look at my health. We're back to him being Ganondorf. Oh yeah, this big explosion of epic proportion. His stone armor is destroyed. This really doesn't end up being a bad game at the end. Like. That's the thing, overall it really is a good game. Okay, ow. Just stare and hit 
then there we go. Boom. Two. Three. Not it. I mean, it, it just takes like the best move. Alright. I wasn't moving because I was like itching my face, but. It takes the best part of all the games, that's the thing. Oh crap, he is like close. There we go. There we go. Four. Is that enough? No? During all these centuries, I have witnessed too many amazing things. All the moments will be lost in time like tears and rain. Time for me to join my people. Um. Lost like tears. Hero. You've defeated Zyphros. Yes, I have. And I believe that's the end of the game. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. And that's Evil Land. Um, I mean, I'll take this time to talk about it a little bit. Um, a very good game. I mean, this... They, I remember this uh, end credits because I actually sat here and watched it for a second because it's cool because it shows the progression that your character goes through. You go from black and white to, you know, 8-bit to, you know, like, you get the color. Now he's, like, bigger. You know, the game, like, it's a very short span that shows you a wide variety of games. And that's why I am going to, you know, go and probably directly play Evil Land 2. I'm probably going to be playing that, um, not, not right now, but later tonight. That's my plan. I'm going to be playing it later tonight, and, you know, that's going to be a fun game. I'm sure if it's anything like this. And I even heard that's a little bit better. Doing bad things with Zyphros. I was just looking at the side a little bit. Playing was me! It was me! Special thanks. Yeah, so... I mean, I guess that's it. I, um, I really enjoyed this game. I, I mean, I, this is the second time playing it. Freely inspired by, okay, this is good. I want to see these. Zelda, Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, Diablo, and many others. Okay, so one that I really didn't talk about was uh, Dragon Quest, but yeah, it is, I, this game is inspired by Dragon Quest. I mean, I, it's still, um, still very similar to Final Fantasy, but I mean, you won the game! Press action to return to title screen. There we go. Yeah, I mean, all those games kind of just bounce off of each other. They inspire each other. They all get different ideas. I mean, Dragon Quest is where the slimes come from. That that makes the most sense. Because, I mean, Dragon Quest's, like, iconic enemy is the slime. It's, like, the first thing you encounter. I remember playing one where you go to, um like a waterfall and stuff and you fight us you fight a bunch of slimes just tons of them but yeah if um if you suck through it if you stayed with me this long or just skipped ahead to the end of the video um thank you for watching and any of it you watched uh and i'll see you guys in the next video bye